Hey YouTube, this is Primetime Pokemon. In this video, I'll be opening up a Pokemon Go Premier Deck Holder Collection. This box features Dragonite V-Star. So I did purchase this box for less than MSRP from GameNers for $34.97. MSRP for this product $49.99. I've actually seen a lot of deals lately, especially around Black Friday and the holiday season for this particular box. And the reason I am opening up this box a little later, of course, Pokemon Go released in July of 2022. I actually didn't think this product included booster packs, but inside this box, you get the Dragonite V-Star, a Premier Ball deck holder, nine booster packs, and a TCG Live code card. So I'll get the plastic wrap off of this box and dig into the contents. So bear with me here while I get this box opened up. This is a pretty cool looking box. I'm, I'm a fan of Pokemon Go in general. The TCG is a collaboration between the mobile game and then of course the trading card game. Surprisingly, it took what, three, four years for that collaboration to actually happen. Now this is my first take. I've not opened up this before, so I'm not exactly sure how you get into the box. Is it like an Elite Trainer box? Yes, it is. 3D view, just like the Elite Trainer box, it looks like. So there is the box without the cardboard on it. Now, next question is, I can just force it open. I just don't want to rip the box, but let's see if I can go like this. Yes, it looks like it opens like this. Cool. Really neat. Two promo cards. So you have the Premier Ball, the Booster Packs. Looks like just some information about Pokemon Go. So there we are, and there we are. So inside, it does look like this get a better view of it on camera for those interested all right so let's go like this here is the premiere ball pikachu i choose you actually totodile would have been my first starter that i ever chose it's a pretty normal looking premiere ball I'm sure it's made in china yes it is right on the bottom made in china all right, so the other items on the inside. So you have a piece of cardboard, that's nice. So the booster packs are all Pokemon Go. I was wondering if they would include a regular expansion booster packs, but nine Pokemon Go booster packs, 88 total cards in the Pokemon Go expansion. So here would be the Dragonite V. There's actually two promo cards inside of here and then the TCG Live code. So I will have to open that little sleeve. So the Dragonite V, SWSH 235 for the card number. A very cool looking, I like that Pokemon Go stamp. Dragonite V Star, SWSH 236. And then the TCG live code dragonite is one of my favorite pokemon of all time one of the first pokemon i ever leveled up to level 100 so before i get to opening the booster packs so we'll head over to tcg player just to show the price guide show a sampling of what's out there what i'm hoping for i'm always hoping for the most valuable card in a set in this case 41 dollars for the mewtwo v star the rainbow rare I would much rather pull, as a collector, the Mewtwo V, the alternate full art. That card I've not pulled from a pack before. And then, of course, anytime I can pull one of my favorite Pokemon, it's actually my favorite Pokemon of all time, Charizard. Would love to pull a Radiant Charizard from this set, this video. Venusaur, Blastoise, Charizard, all available as Radiant Pokemon in this set. So there's a look at some of the... Cards in the set, of course, I have to watch for Ditto, comes in the reverse hollow spot, has a Ditto icon at the bottom left-hand corner. All right, let's get to opening these booster packs. 
Like I said, nine booster packs to open up. We'll just go one by one. I will try and include chapters in the description of this video so that you can jump ahead to whatever part of the video that you want to watch. You are guaranteed a rare hollow at the very least in every single pack. It's been a while since I've opened up a Pokemon Go pack. Spinarak starts the first pack of nine. Pikachu, Wimpod, Pidove, Bulbasaur, Lightning type energy, Ivysaur, Lunatone, Slowbro, Reverse Hollow. Nice, a Radiant Blastoise, Papa Blastoise, Justin, a friend of mine, would like this card. Of course, he's a big fan of Blastoise. Shiny form of Blastoise. I think these cards will be very collectible down the road. Unfortunately, I can tell just by looking at the front of this card, the left border is thicker than the right border but i do like collecting as many ultra rares and secret rares as possible and then the final card would be a venusaur so very good start to this box i've actually seen some deals online for pokemon go products i know walmart actually had the pokemon go tins for i believe 14.97 i see some crazy number like a thousand people have purchased these tins just in the last day you can get those same tins for probably 12 or 13 dollars elsewhere online and then the radiant eevee premium collection box i've been very tempted to buy a couple of those 34.99 through best buys website apom starts this one spinarak wimpod alolan ratata pikachu fire type energy lunatone candela slowbro Reverse Hollow of an Alolan Raticate, a common. And then Charizard, there we go, as the final card. Of course, I won't set this one aside. You are guaranteed a rare Hollow in each and every pack. Wouldn't mind pulling that card as a Reverse Hollow. Similar to Evolutions. Actually liked pulling the Reverse Hollow a little bit better than the Rare Hollow. Of course, the Rare Hollow is worth more. It's more nostalgia, closer to the original card in base set. Four, and then two to move that rare and reverse hollow to the back of the pack. Bulbasaur starts this one. I've never been a fan of the grass type starters. Numel, Larvitar, Wimpod, Spinarak, Psychic type energy, Lure Module, which you can pull as a secret rare, Soul Rock, War Turtle, reverse hollow. Can I call it or what? There is the Charizard, the rare reverse hollow. And then the final card would be a Zapdos. Of course, Zapdos, Moltres, and Articuno. The last part, one, two, three, in Spanish. And I will be learning Spanish. I, I know Spanish a little bit now, but of course, me and my daughter is 13 months right now. And Carla is bilingual. Spanish is actually her first language. She probably knows English better than Spanish, but she still speaks Spanish with a majority of her family when it comes to her parents and then her aunts and uncles and grandparents and such. So Mia would like to be bilingual and that would be a good time to try when she's learning to speak as well. Pikachu starts this pack. Eevee, Meltan, Magikarp, Pidov, Lightning-type Energy, Candela, Zatu, Steelix, Reverse solo of a Candela, an Uncommon, and the final card, a Tyranitar. Really like the look of this card. It reminds me of Dark Tyranitar from the Neo series of sets. Bringing back some nostalgia for me. I can vividly remember going to my local Kmart for two different scenarios. The first was seeing back in the toy section, Neo products back there. I remember that very vividly. I couldn't afford any of those products at the time. I would have been 13-ish, so a little bit too young to work. And then at that same Kmart, I wish I could go back in time, but they actually sold a lot of the original sets in booster box form for $60 for first edition boxes. It was unreal. Alolan Raticate starts this pack. Tranquil, Larvitar, Natu, Ambipon, Fire Type Energy, Egg Incubator, Camerupt, Blanche, 
reverse hollow. There we go, your Radiant Venusaur. Can I pull all three from these nine packs? It is a possibility. Venusaur here, and the final card would be that same Venusaur. Same Pokemon, different card. So two Radiant Pokemon, the two that I would not want if I could choose. I'd course want Charizard. Charizard being my favorite and then I really do like the shiny form of Charizard. Looks like three packs left to go after this one so certainly a chance at pulling a Charizard. Haven't really pulled much in that final spot. Mewtwo V alternate art. Here I come. My brother actually purchased an elite trainer box from Walmart. Pulled one out of his box and that was very early on probably back in july when this set first was released padov starts this one magikarp meltan squirtle eevee fighting type energy chansey spark and i have to remember to check that reverse hollow spot for that ditto ivysaur reverse hollow of an ambipom a common and the final card a galisopod This artwork on these packs, similar to Japanese packs where you have the same artwork on each and every pack. Of course, with Japanese products, you have more guaranteed pull rates as opposed to English products where pull rates really are completely random. A palm to start this one. Two packs left to go. Bulbasaur, Padov, Magikarp, Meltan. A V Star Marker instead of an energy card. Lunatone. Slowbro. Zatu. Reverse Hall of a Candela. An uncommon. And then the final card, a Dragonite V. So that works out for a box based around Dragonite, pulling a Dragonite V. Six different Pokemon V available in this set. Lightning and water type energy required to use the attacks on Dragonite. Second to last pack now. I do like the fact that you can get those Radiant Pokemon in the Reverse Hollow slot. It just is a lot more fun anytime you open up a set that has a potential of getting something good in that Reverse Hollow spot. All right, running out of chances to pull that Charizard. Alolan Rattata starts this pack. Numel. Alolan Raticate. Larvitar. Tranquil. Psychic type energy, Unpheasant, Rare Candy, Lunatone, Reverse Hollow of a Natu, a Common, and the final card, another Charizard. Let's see what happens in this final pack. Hoping for some last pack magic. Even if I don't pull anything here, happy to pull a couple of Radiant cards from nine total packs. Four and then two. Final pack. It starts with Onyx, Charmander, Bidoof, Wimpod, Padov, Fire type energy, Candela, Slowbro, Pokestop, Reverse Hollow, a Lapras. This one would be a rare. And the final card would be a Galisopod. So a few cards to summarize here. I'll be right back with those cards. All right, so I have five cards to summarize out of nine packs. I was able to pull out a couple of rare reverse hollows, Lapras and Charizard. Two Radiant Pokemon, very happy to have pulled these. Still wish they were both Charizard. Radiant Blastoise and Radiant Venusaur. And then one Pokemon V, a fitting Pokemon V in Dragonite. And really the reason you'd buy this box is to just for sure get those promo cards. I really do like that Dragonite V-Star with the Pokemon Go stamp. So that will conclude this video. Thank you everyone for watching. As always, before you go, make sure and subscribe to my channel. And then leave a like on this video. If you would like to help support my channel even more, please consider becoming a patron of mine on Patreon or purchasing my book, Pokemon Cards, The Unofficial Ultimate Collector's Guide. You can find both of those links in the description of this video. So thanks everyone for watching, and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.